In this example, we're asked to solve a cubic inequality. In fact, it's notice it has an equal sign on here, and we'll address that later in the problem. And so I need to factor this cubic inequality. So I'll put the 1, 4, 1, negative 6 coefficients at the top here. And I'm going to try to find factors of this. Remember, you would try in the synthetic division, or if you want to do long, you can. Uh, factors of negative 6, like plus or minus 1, plus or minus 2, plus or minus 3, or plus or minus 6. There are actually eight numbers you could try. A number that does work is 1. And so uh, if you bring in the 1 down and, of course, multiply that by that pink 1, we get 1 here. 4 and 1 add to 5. Uh, 5 and 1 multiply to 5. 1 and 5 add to 6. 6 times that 1, of course, is 6. And we add that 6 to the negative 6 above it and put the remainder here, and the remainder is 0. So it's certain, x minus 1 is certainly a factor. Now I'm going to do one more synthetic division. This is actually x squared plus 5x plus 6, and I guess you could factor that fairly simply, but I'm just going to do another division here. And negative 2 works as well. So we bring the 1 down, and 1 times negative 2, of course, is negative 2. So 5 and negative 2 add to 3. And then 3 times negative 2 is negative 6, and again, 6 and negative 6 add to 0. So the 1 worked, so x minus 1 is a factor. The negative 2 worked, so uh, giving us a remainder of 0. So x plus 2 is a factor. Remember, it's x minus the number, so x minus negative 2 is x plus 2. And the 1, 3 at the bottom means x plus 3 is another factor. You could have also said this is x squared plus 5x plus 6. So we need two numbers that add to 5, multiply to 6, which are 2 and 3. And so x plus 2 and x plus 3 are factors. That's another way you could have do that, done that instead of doing the second synthetic division. Now if we set each of these factors to 0, we get negative 3, negative 2, and 1 as the zeros for this cubic. Again, we're setting those to 0 to find out where the function is equal to 0 to break this number line into intervals so we can check what's the sign of each of the factors and ultimately what's the sign of the whole polynomial. Is it positive or negative? We're looking for where it's, it's uh, less than or equal to 0. So uh, negative 3 from this factor, negative 2 is a 0 from that factor, and 1 is a 0 from that factor. And so that divides this into four intervals. And so down here, this would be interval x is less than negative 3. Between negative 3 and negative 2 is that one. Between negative 2 and 1 is this one. And then above 1 would be this interval right here. And so we place on the left the three factors, x minus 1, x plus 2, x plus 3, and then the product of the three of them down here. And we'll check numbers and see the sign of each of these factors, and ultimately the sign of the whole cubic to figure out where is it negative, where is it positive. So, if you take a number below negative 3, and I'll do some test numbers here as well. So, below negative 3, for example, uh, negative 5 is below negative 3. So, if I put a negative 5 in place of x in this factor, negative 5 minus 1, of course, is negative 6, so it's negative. If I put uh, negative 5 in here, negative 5 plus 2 would be negative 3, so it's uh, negative as well. And negative 5 here. So now we have a negative times a negative times a negative, and of course the product of three negatives is negative. Next we need numbers between negative th three and negative two. And of course there are no whole numbers there, so choose a decimal. So, so for example, uh, negative 2.5. And so if we put negative 2.5 in place of x. Negative 2.5 minus 1 would be negative 3, so it's negative. If we put negative 2.5 here, negative 2.5 plus 2 is negative 0.5, so it's still negative. But the next factor actually switches sign. If we put negative 2.5 in place of x, when you add 3 to it, it's positive 0.5, so we have a positive there. And so the product of a negative and a negative and a positive is of course positive, so it changed sign. Now, numbers between negative 2 and 1, so uh, you could choose 0. I'm not going to write this one down, uh, but uh, anything between negative 2 and 1, uh, 0 is my test number. So 0 minus 1, of course, is negative, so we have a negative here. 0 plus 2 is positive, so that factor changed signs, positive now. And 0 plus 3 would also be positive, so we have the product of 1 negative and 2 positive, which, of course, is negative. And then lastly, any number greater than 1. 
So for example, greater than 1, uh, a greater than 1 minus 1 would be positive. So this is positive. Greater than 1 plus 2 is uh, also positive, and greater than 1 plus 3 is also positive. So all three factors are positive there. And so the product of three positives, of course, is positive. And so uh, notice it's, it's alternating from negative to positive, negative to positive. You will often find that happening unless, of course, you get double roots up here. So we're looking for where this is less than or equal to 0. And so we're looking for the negatives. So that interval is one solution. And since we have a negative here, that interval is the other solution. Now, notice there is an equality sign on this as well. So then we would list these with less than or equal to's. So the solution is x is less than or equal to negative 3. And also, x is between negative 2 and, and positive 1 inclusive. So again, the equality should be there. Now the way we would graph this, less than or equal to negative 3 is solid dot at negative 3 and showing everything to the left below it. And then of course between negative 2 and 1 is, the, is this interval. And in example 4, we have a rocket that's fired so its height in meters after t seconds is given by this formula. h is equal to negative 5 times time squared plus 30 times the time. And we're asked to determine when the, uh, the time interval, when the rocket is more than 40 meters above the ground. And so the height is greater than 40. Now the height, this is the uh, expression for the height at any time. So we fill that in place of h. We have negative 5t squared plus 30t is greater than 40. And I want to rearrange this so that uh, I have the 40 over here and just 0 on the right side. So I'll subtract 40 from both sides. And I get negative 5t squared plus 30t minus 40 is greater than 0. Now notice that this whole quadratic divides evenly by negative 5. So I'm going to divide everything here by negative 5. So negative 5t squared divided by negative 5 is t squared. 30t divided by negative 5 is negative 6t. And negative 40 divided by negative 5 is plus 8. Now notice I'm dividing by negative, so the direction of the inequality changes. It's greater than there, it's less than here. And of course 0 divided by negative 5 is still 0. Now I need to factor this quadratic. And to factor it, look for two numbers that add to negative 6 and multiply to 8. And of course, uh, that would be uh, minus 2 and minus 4. So t minus 2 and t minus 4 are the two factors. And if we set each of these to 0, we get 2 and 4 for the two places each of these factors are equal to 0. And so we'll put 2 and 4 in our number line up here. And we get three intervals, below, below 2, between 2 and 4, and then greater than 4. So here's the interval below 2 times between 2 and 4 goes here, and then greater than 4 goes here. And so we'll place the two factors, t minus 2 and t minus 4, and then the product of them down here, and we'll test numbers. So test a number below 2. A number below 2 minus 2 would be negative. A number below, f below 2 minus 4 would be negative. For example, uh, a number below 2 is 0, 0 minus 4 is negative 4. And so the whole thing is the product of two negatives, and of course that'll be positive. Numbers between 2 and 4, so for example 3, uh, 3 minus 2 would be 1. So we have a positive. But in this factor, uh, 3 minus 4, or any number between 2 and 4, subtract 4, is going to be negative. So the product of a positive and a negative, of course, is negative. Now this interval is above 4. Any number above 4 minus 2 is positive, and uh, above 4 minus 4 is also positive. So in the end here we have the product of two positives, which of course is positive. Now we're looking for where the height is greater than 40, so we're looking for where this, ultimately at the end here, the height is greater than 40 means that this quadratic is less than 0. So where it's less than 0, is the negative here. So remember, it, it'd be easy to say we're looking for where it's positive, but remember in solving this, we actually change the direction of the inequality. So we're actually looking for where this product is less than 0 to get the height being bigger than 40. So we're looking for where it's negative, so that's our solution right there. So times between 2 and 4 seconds. Now notice we're just talking about more than 40. We weren't including 40. So that's just between 2 and 4. We wouldn't include 2 seconds or 4 seconds. And so the rocket is, is more than 40 meters above the ground between 2 and 4 seconds after it was fired. And that's the end of the lesson.